Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on Thursday, August the 10th, 2023. And this is a day where all you can say your efforts, your prayers, your work with the divine will be rewarded. Many people would have woken up just feeling supported and loved and understood. This is your higher self also telling you that what you've thought of yourself as being limited and troubled and in conflict and not really following your divine path is all egotistical and you've taken on the struggle to become your definition. Now that sounds very lofty, right? What is all that? I just, I'm always dealing with something. I'm struggling. That's exactly what the divine ones want you to lose today. That effort that we are here, call upon us, the angelic forces, the divine ones that you believe in and lean upon, want you to lean upon them. And they want you to realize that you are not unsupported, you're not alone. And you do not need to struggle or have any form of fear or negativity or hardship, a sense of hardship within you. So that is why the most supreme form of Divine Father, loving but so powerful, has come to us. And this is the elephant-headed God, the Lord of the Hindu tradition, Lord Ganesha. I will not tell you what to think about him. Just look at him for a moment. And feel, feel him right there in the center of your being, literally. Wherever your hand goes over your chakras is where Lord Ganesha is immediately sending his power to open it up, to open you up. So open your palm for a moment and look at this picture, this image, and touch your palm not just his open palm, but wherever your hand goes on this image. That's what you need immediately. And immediately you will feel a change, a shift, a vibration, a movement. And your heart will literally feel like, like it's opening and rising, as if it's been a closed door all this time, and the door is opening. Pure golden white light is coming in for a moment. Don't worry about what the image of this picture right in front of you, this image, is projecting to you. Just be. Just receive. Whether you open your eyes and look at it, or you open your eyes for a moment and look at the image and then close your eyes, Totally your decision. Again, do not go into method. Just feel. What you are seeking ultimately is a sense of balance and peace and love. Take that straight through his eyes, through all of this imagery, all projecting pure upliftment for you, revival, caring, compassion, understanding, whatever you seek. You can ask for multiple things, not just one thing if you're worried about many aspects and realms of your life, be it body, mind, spirit, finances. Your back is hurting right now. You're worried about your children. You're worried about something in your home. All those worries, surrender it. Just be in this moment because he is the supreme obstacle remover. So I'll be quiet for a moment and allow you to have this moment, your moment, 
your connection to Lord Ganesha in your own supreme divine manner. Yes, you are a divine being. Remember that too. So I'll be quiet for a moment. And how did that feel, dear one? Yes, it was very quick. But that's how quick it can be. Don't hold yourself up just in ritual or guided meditation as being the only form of connection for you. Your heart is open to the universe now. Why? Because you chose to believe in Lord Ganesha. He is here. And don't even worry about why he has an elephant's head and how that came about. It's good for you to explore if you want to. Your mind is open to the universe. But there's a huge mythology, a myth behind that. You just accept him as he looks to you right now. That's also acceptance of things that don't seem logical at first. And he will tell you in his own way. You will understand. And then the book will validate what you received. Isn't that a better way to receive it? Saying, wow, I received it without any single lesson or reading a book. And then it will make more, even more sense. It will matter more. It will go in a deeper space within you. And then you know, if you did that simple, fun exercise with yourself, that you can cross anything else that you think is impossible to cross. Because look at the words that Lord Ganesha is giving you. Infinite abundance. And all of this image here is full of possibilities. All kinds of possibilities. So I will not tell you much what you need to receive from me as a messenger of the light, but what you choose to receive also. Don't just go with what I'm telling you. Let your heart decide. Yes, that's how I want to go. And these words literally make them your guideline for the day. Almost as a song that you're singing to your heart. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. And look at the space behind him. That orb is very unusual. It has a boundary. So you might say, does that mean that the obstacles are just limited in in their removal? Or there's some timeline? or some knowing, or some method that I need to know. No, it's saying that that is protected because the space behind is then got a beautiful design, the design of the universe, that everything would mold itself once you choose to receive this on your behalf and totally according to your comfort level. No rush, no perfect method. Just flow, believe, And you will receive. You will not go wrong. You cannot go wrong. That's what the universe is telling you. Everything is molding itself for your success. So you can only go forward into completion, fulfillment, happiness, as you define it and need it. And why it's green? Because it's corresponding with your heart, healing your emotions, helping your feelings, to both react and create and heal and change again as you enjoy it and need it at this time. So you will literally find many reasons to smile this day. And what is that design in the middle? It's basically, again, the Reiki practitioners would know this and those who work with energy healing or have worked with energy healing for a long time, 
its geometric structure of the Akashic spaces coming together. Again, define it as you feel it is. You don't have to know what that means. So don't go into too much detail and again find a reason to create a new form of worrying. This is removing your worries. You just keep on sticking them into that space and your mental landscape will literally be clear as a clear lake. Keep looking back into Lord Ganesha's eyes. If you have why and when and how, all of that coming up, ask, ask, but surrender it and know that you're at peace. Yes, you are at peace right now. Just because the rest will work itself out. That's why he has a huge crown filled in different spaces with colored diamonds, emerald, sapphire, all kinds of precious stones, the decoration, how it's situated. It's just telling you, invite the golden white light in, dear child. And I will find a way to translate it for you, how you need to receive it, how you need to activate it, how you need to use it, all of that. Your mind will have inspiration in every form and every way you need it and seek it this day. The method, the people you need to work with, the people you need to help perhaps, that you've never realized that you can be that source of inspiration for someone else, that will uplift you. I have something that I never knew that I could actually share. Whatever it is, understanding the computer, a new recipe, even a form of laughing or jokes, you feel like sharing it with a friend that you know, is depressed and needs uplifting or you just call and just say hello or you send a beautiful picture to someone again to brighten their day you've acted as an obstacle remover you removed sadness unhappiness from someone's heart your heart of course will be uplifted because you shared love and love will flow and that's why this is all in flow. It's coming down then to his eyes. The third eye chakra is holding. Again, removal of pain, bondage, chains. And it's the supreme symbol of the Tushul. The Tushul is basically a three pointed sword, removing, removing negativity in all ways. You just look at this and say, I visualize whatever you want to visualize. A perfect body, a perfect home, the perfect vacation, a beautiful job, lovely friendships, the perfect romantic relationship, a harmonious marriage, a happy family, whatever it is. Visualize away. Literally, you're dreaming. It was so easy for you to do that as a child, right? To dream. And you didn't put markers on that then. Go back to that. How easy it was for you to see the perfect future. The perfect future has not gone away anywhere. You just pushed it in the background, thinking that this is not practical or this can't, can't be my reality, and there has to be pointers or markers for reality, take these pointers and remove the unnecessary now. He's right there holding his hand up for you. And why is there another marker then on his nose? That is telling you that whatever you visualized, that nose is telling you then how to use your intuitive gifts to literally use the power of fragrance and all of your intuitive gifts 
to go forward because it's just moving forward. From the sword, it's going down to the infinite symbol. It's like you're merging with the consciousness of the universe. And with your breath, every breath, you're drawing in more power. Breathing is something you have to do anyways. Don't do it unconsciously. Why not use it consciously and enjoy that breath? Draw that breath in now. Lord Ganesha, I'm one with you. And let it go. All that baggage that was so hard to let go of, it's gone. It's disappeared. It's transmuted. It's changed. And he's still there. He's not gone anywhere. In fact, his eyes are glowing even more. He's proud of you. And all that inspiration is now coming down close to his ears so you can listen. Use the power of sound. Meditation, song, prayer, invocation, your own voice. Enjoy your voice. Conversations you have, be really present in the conversation. Enjoy that conversation, not just because it's something you have to engage in. Make it a playground, a place you can play with words and enjoy the presence of another person. And vice versa, that you're not using words to complain or to pull down or to abuse or hurt. You're using the power of words to change. Again, what you thought was impossible. It's possible now. Just through one simple conversation. And you can create with words to connect with the divine in your own way. Again. And of course use the power of traditional prayer. There's a reason that it has lasted for centuries, especially related to Lord Ganesha. Just go on Google and find many mantras related to him. Now you might say, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not from India. I'm not from the Hindu tradition. Go ahead and search on YouTube. If you choose to search, the universe will find a way to give it to you. Lord Ganesha will find a way to reach you. Maybe you find a form of Reiki connected to Lord Ganesha or energetic prayer because you tried and you will feel so uplifted. I dared to dream. I dared to try. You'll be rewarded for that, for the trying. And I will not tell you in this image to look for three, four instruments of the light, just let your heart go through this image and soak it in for what you feel it is. Feeling, feeling, feeling. You will not go wrong. If you see, part of his trunk is going straight into a huge bowl of what is called laddu, a sweet dish. So find a reason to also bring in enjoyment. It's not always doing, doing, doing and being responsible but losing the power to smile and losing the power to enjoy. Enjoyment is not a sin, by the way. So watch a funny movie. Enjoy that song. Do a silly dance. Laugh with a friend. Smile at a loved one. Whatever you choose to do, bring that sense of enjoyment back, however you choose to do it. And the scepter he's holding... You can invite and you can cut away the old and invite the new and it will be solid, strong and your heart will affirm to that fact, will affirm that fact. You'll know, you'll just know there's so much supporting you. And if you also, again, get depressive or tired or feel the emotions again in conflicted mode, use that beautiful lotus in his right hand. (sighs) I just want to relax. That sense of balance 
will return in a nanosecond. So you choose for yourself throughout this day how you want to connect and keep reconnecting with Lord Ganesha till you feel your heart uplifted, you find the road ahead clear, you find where you have to focus, how you have to focus, who you have to spend time with. And this doesn't have to always be in person. It can be just through feeling you connect. But go ahead and don't ignore your feeling. Go ahead and acknowledge your feeling. It's a gateway. Really, it is always has been and always will continue to remain a gateway to the divine, to God, to Creator. And Ganesh is reminding you of that, that I'm there. Nothing can stop you. Cross all obstacles now, easily. You can and you will. And this comes to you from the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the Supreme Presence of the Divine Father, Lord Ganesh, blessing us this day so beautifully and so powerfully comes to us from Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. And this is Tina signing up for now. Invite your infinite abundance and enjoy it. You deserve it. You've earned it. Receive it now.